Hello, and a very warm welcome to this 1.1-ness session. My name is Els. For those of you who join us for the first time, let me give you a little bit of a background. We started this project 1.1-ness uh, way back in May 2020, and this was in the middle of the pandemic, the lockdown, when we were all working from home, hardly anyone on the streets, and we were only uh, allowed or able to meet a few people at a time. So the idea came uh, at that moment that uh, maybe we can organize something to help uh, people get into this very stressful time. And that was the start of the project. What we have been doing since then is every Friday, it's every fortnight now, we invite an experienced meditator and we ask him or her to share their thoughts about a particular topic but also to guide us into a short meditation. So far, we have had more than 100 guest speakers from all over the world. All the sessions have been recorded and they are available on YouTube. Today, I'm very pleased to welcome Rekha. Rekha is an IT engineer by profession, originally from India. She's now based in London. She has a wealth of experience in terms of teaching, Raja Yoga meditation, not only teaching, but also practicing it herself for many years now. Uh, Rekha regularly runs sessions and workshops on the importance of a positive mindset and also the importance of regular practice of meditation. So very, very warm welcome to you, Rekha. The topic for today is building inner resilience um, in a fast changing world. So over to you, Rekha. Thank you, Els. So um, I would say that this topic is also close to my heart, especially because of uh, what's happening in today's world. And um, when I think of resilience, Resilience in the dictionary would, would say that it's springing back or coming back to a normal state when there are challenges or when we're faced with some sort of trauma, traumatic situations. But I would like to perhaps see resilience in the image of a lighthouse. And I like to keep this image as a symbol for being resilient because it, it helps me to see how this resilience actually feels. So this image of a lighthouse and some time ago, many years ago, someone had sent me a video of this lighthouse standing tall and strong um, amidst all those really um, very powerful tidal waves just lashing over the lighthouse. But in spite of all that, the lighthouse really stands strong and is not affected by those waves. But not just that, the purpose of the lighthouse is also it's a source of the guiding light to all those ships or um, those who are looking to come back home, come back to the shore. So I felt that this image of a lighthouse is, is really symbolic for resilience. So keeping that in our minds, if you look at how to build inner resilience, especially in the current times in the fast changing world. One of the things that I would compare it with is how do we build our immune system or how do we build our immunity of a physical body? It's, I would think, very similar. Resilience is very similar to, to that building resilience inner resilience especially. So when we're talking about building our immune system, building immunity, um, we kind of 
are aware of what we need to do for our physical system. We kind of see what to eat, what not to eat, and what will help me to um, maybe take supplements or you know, we kind of know, okay, this, especially when there are infectious things around, then we kind of boost our immunity even more because we don't want to get affected by it. We don't want to get influenced by it. And so immunity means it's protecting ourselves. Immunity means it's um, being careful of um, what we give input into our bodies. And so very, very similarly, building resilience also takes the same kind of outlook. Um, resilience then would mean that I'm protected. Uh, I'm not impacted or less impacted and I'm able to come back to normal soon, very soon. And so when we talk about resilience here, we're talking about our minds, aren't we? How strong is my mind and not affected or less affected by what's going on internally and what's going on outside? And so perhaps the two things that we can think about as we think about for immunity of the physical body, diet and exercise, very in very simple words, diet and exercise, then we can look about look at what is the diet and exercise I need to build my inner resilience. And so when we talk about our minds being strong and resilient, then perhaps the first question that I can ask is what makes me weak and what makes me strong? What makes my mind weak? what makes my mind strong because if I can understand that and if I can put into practice or be careful of just um, imbibing those things that make me stronger and not imbibing those things that make me weaker then already I'm on the path of building the inner resilience so let me ask myself what is it that makes me strong and what is it that makes me weak? And, and very simply, uh, and we all will agree to this, that when I have positive, pure, um, beneficial thoughts, thoughts that bring benefit, then I can see that my mind is nourished, my mind is, is happy, now, the feelings that come out of these thoughts are also positive. But at the same time, when I see if I have negative thoughts or wasteful, unnecessary thoughts, then these create ill feelings. Perhaps feelings of dislike, feelings of even in, in occasions hatred. So all these Thoughts and feelings are making me weak and the positive and the um, pure good, good wishes. You know, when we say good wishes for somebody, then those are making me stronger. So if I want to be on this path of building the inner resilience, so perhaps the first thing for me to check is what am I feeding? my mind. Hmm? One is what I generate from within. So to be very, very conscious of that, what am I creating from within? But also then what am I feeding from the external? Because we are living in a fast changing world, but it's also a challenging world because all around us, um, day in and day out, right from the headlines of the news and also the environments that we work in can perhaps throw um, negative uh, situations in front of us. And without almost saying that I don't have a choice, we take in um, negativity 
And when we take an activity, at some point, we also start to contribute um, negativity. And all that what's happening is weakening the being within, um, weakening or definitely taking me away from anywhere going towards the resilience. And so really harboring good feelings, you know, uh, creating good feelings, but also making sure that whatever is happening, I'm still able to um, create good feelings. And for that, one of the things that uh, in meditation we learn that really helps is that at the core of every individual, any human being, at the core, there is goodness. This fundamental aspect of the core of goodness helps me then to see beyond just the surface of complete negativity. Because ultimately, all of us are wanting to be peaceful, wanting to be loving, wanting to be happy. Um, whatever we do most often is for that. And so when I keep this in my mind, that at the core, each one has goodness in them, then I'm looking at that rather than looking on the surface of maybe uh, angry words, conversations that are difficult, then I'm able to see the goodness behind that. So this often helps me to keep my mind um, um, not filled with negativity because that's, that's really, really, really important if I want to build the inner resilience. Uh, I remember one of our senior sisters very experienced yogis from a very long time, Dandi Janki, uh, she would often say that, you know, check within yourself that if you do have fear of anything or if fear um, is generated within you, then maybe you hold on to ill feelings towards someone. It's not, not necessarily connected to anything that you're fearful of but in general in general if I am harboring ill feelings or holding on to something negative about somebody about somebody could be anybody and even maybe about myself I haven't let go of something that perhaps I did a while ago and I'm still holding on to it and somebody else did something and every day we see this all the time somebody saying something, somebody doing something. And if I'm still holding on to some sort of ill feeling towards anybody, that becomes sort of a source um, of generating fear within me. And so when any situation comes, any challenging um, environment I'm in, then I, because of this weakness or because of this, you know, it's like a seed of negativity, which is there in me. I start to feel fearful. So, of course, um, fear then does not help me to be resilient, definitely. And, and it causes and it triggers other things as well. And so maybe the first thing uh, towards building inner resilience is to really clean and keep my mind positive and um, pure no matter what on a day-to-day -day basis even when there are no you know huge challenges but but just on a daily basis to check and to keep my mind really with pure and good feelings and good wishes and this aspect of the core of goodness in each uh, being helps me uh, to do that so that's one thing and the second thing is um, the practice. We, we're going to be doing meditation just in a little bit. The practice that we can do every day. But also the practice of 
every morning and every evening to engage or to read or to reflect on something that's positive, that's that you find uh, engaging for yourself um, and not just um, negative things around us because sometimes it can be addictive. Now we want to read something, something that's going on and we read more and we read more and we read more. And maybe it's not even necessary uh, to know so much about something uh, for me because all that is draining draining the energy within the being and so um, one aspect is to see myself as this not just the physical body but this being that I am so I can observe my mind and I can change what is going on in my mind and the second aspect is we saw the diet and exercise that can help but the other aspect is that sometimes um, there are deep things within that I'm unable to let go of. And because of that, I'm still a little bit not fully able to come onto this path of inner resilience. And what helps at that time is connecting to the source of goodness, which we call as the divine, the supreme, um, the supreme light. So just making that connection by the being of light and connecting to the supreme light or the source of goodness, the source of all uh, spiritual powers. When I'm able to do the, make that connection and that starts a process of healing within me, I'm able to let go of things and also feel um, power within myself to be able to um, start to become strong again. So a few thoughts there to you know, reflect on uh, what makes me strong and what makes me weak and to, to really focus on what input I'm giving myself to build the inner resilience or the inner immunity um, because that's very key. What do I generate from within, but also what input through my eyes, through my ears, and the environments that I'm engaging in, what input am I giving so that I can see that anything and everything I do is taking me on the path of resilience. I'm helping. I'm helping myself to stay strong and not go the other way. So now uh, for a few minutes, let's have meditation that will um where we can practice uh maybe you can take this as like a little uh, sample that you can do yourself every morning and evening to build this inner resilience so sit comfortably And relax. Take a few deep breaths. And completely relax the body. It's important to go through the step of relaxing the physical body. So check from the toes till the top of the head. The body is totally relaxed. If there is any tension, just gently let go of the tension. For the next few minutes, I'm present. I'm here and now. I'd like to go on an inner journey. a journey to meet myself and a journey to empower myself. So now in this relaxed state, 
I gently bring my attention to the center of my forehead. And on the screen of my mind, I visualize a tiny spark of light, like the image I see in front of me. I visualize that on the screen of my mind, a tiny spark of light. And as I gently focus on this light, I start to become aware that I am this light. There is the physical body and the physical identity. But my form is that of light. I am the being of light. I'm the source of life in this physical body. And so now I bring my focus totally on this point of light that I am. I'm a being of light. And as I focus, I go deeper and deeper. And here I discover a treasure store of goodness. I feel peace. I am a peaceful being. I feel love. I am a loving being. I feel joy. And I am a joyful being. As I connect in this way to my original form and original qualities, virtues, I start to feel the power in this truth. Because truth is always powerful. And in this state of truth, I then come into the presence of the source of goodness, the supreme light, 
the divine. The source of all powers. The powerhouse. As I connect my mind to the source of goodness, I feel empowered. I feel the strength within me awakening. And in this state of being strong and yet light, All my expressions in my actions and interactions are filled with positivity. Whatever comes to me, I am able to give it a positive turn. I am able to withstand it like a lighthouse, standing tall and strong. Because in this state, of complete truth. Everything looks small. So I take care to create positive thoughts and good feelings, no matter what comes my way. And I take care to engage in such environments so as I build in a resilience day in and day out, then I also become the guiding light for others too, wherever I am. Thank you. Thank you, Rekha, uh, for this beautiful and I would say very powerful meditation experience. Um, I can feel the stillness and when you were guiding us into that meditation, your own experience of uh, practicing uh, Raja Yoga. And I think it was interesting how you explained that uh, resilience means checking maybe daily uh, what makes my mind weak or what makes my mind strong. And also being that lighthouse, helping ships finding their way back to the shore. Very powerful um, statement as it were. 
But I also like the fact that you explained how Daddy Janky once said that if there is fear in myself, maybe I'm holding on to ill feelings towards someone or even towards myself. So thank you for sharing your thoughts on this. Uh, thank you, the technical team, helping us behind the scenes, as always. And our next 1.1 1 .1 session will be on the 25th of November, again, a Friday, 9 a.m. UK time. And we will have Judy Rogers from, uh, from New York joining us for that session. I hope you have enjoyed the session. Um, thank you for joining and have a nice day. Goodbye.